So today in school, I officially learned how to cut threads on a lathe. I had attempted it and successfully attempted it um, on my home lathe, but I it's just by a miracle. I <laughs> mean, come on. I was like, oh, I guess this will work. And it worked. And I was able to cut a nut and a lathe and a, and a bolt. Um, but man, I, I can't believe, I can't believe it worked. <laughs> driving without my seatbelt on. What am I doing? Cutting a thread is really relaxing. It's just you get into this rhythm and you just cut a little bit, go back, cut a little bit more, go back. I don't know, you just, it, it's really fun actually. I thought, I was, I was worried I'd be intimidated by it, but it's actually a lot of fun and it's not that difficult to set up. The cool thing about knowing how to make threads is that now when I go to Home Depot, I can see uh, the the different kinds of nuts and bolts and threads and everything and I, I know what it means and I could recreate it I could go in and say okay this you know quarter inch 20 UNC whatever you know I can go and make that so I could buy a store-bought bolt and make the nut to fit it, or vice versa, or just make it from scratch. Whoever created the thread, <laughs> the idea, is amazing and it's just basically my instructor said it's the trans it's a, it's a tool for transferring power it, it transfers the power this way and this way and then if you, you, know, you can use a nut to tighten things but you can also use it to raise things or lower things move things along a, a path threads are really fun so it's a good day